Hello, in this video let's see how you can override the default columns selected by the auto insight process and instead specify the columns that you are interested in and also select the type of visualization that you want the process to generate using your column selection. So here's my sales data. Now let me look at the default insights generated by the auto insight process. As I scroll down, I see different categories of visualizations. There is a trending analysis, some seasonality charts, 80-20, heat maps and so on. While these may be interesting, I want to narrow down the scope to just one kind of analysis. To do that, I click on the inside settings and I see two sections here. The section on the top is allowing me to specify the type of visualization that I want to see. The section at the bottom allows me to override the default columns identified by the process and instead choose the columns that I'm interested in that I want insights to be generated on. So there are different types available here. If I look at dimensional, it says these visualizations compare values of a single metric between members of a dimension. If I look at trends, these include charts that show trending of a metric over different time levels. Then there is seasonality over different time cycles and so on. Okay, let me first expand the metrics. These are the default selections by the process. Let me remove them and let me select sales and gross unit price instead. Then I pick ship date instead of order date. Now here I want to just focus on seasonality visualization. So let me uncheck everything else and just keep seasonality. Now I hit apply. Now the process is going to generate only seasonality based visualizations on the columns that I just selected. So now for sales and gross unit price, I'm seeing seasonality information across different time levels. So there is seasonality at month, quarter, day of month and so on, depending on the grain of your data set. So I can select a visualization that I'm interested in and add it to my canvas. Let me go back and look at, let's say, heat maps only. So I select heat maps and click apply. Now I see only heat map visualizations. Now I can add another category, say, dimensional, along with my heat maps. Now I'm seeing dimensional and heat map analysis that allow me to compare my metrics by different dimensions in my data set. So with this capability, I'm able to focus on a specific category of visualization generated on the columns of my choice in the Auto Insight panel. Note that all the selections that I made in the Settings panel are only applicable to this workbook session. If I reopen the dataset, I will go back to the default settings. Thanks for watching this video.